All right, hey guys, two important things happened this week. I got an email from the place where I bought my EMS 64M card uh, saying that one, they're back in stock, which is great. And the second thing they said was there's actually a new flashing program you can use. If you remember from my original video on this, I had to use a virtual copy of Windows XP in a virtual PC and then link up the drivers through that. And that's the only way I could get them to actually run on Windows 7 or Windows 10 or even Linux. I couldn't get them run on that. So this new program actually loads the drivers in a different way, making it much easier to get started. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and jump right in. First thing you'll want is a copy of this program. Uh, here's the official project page and here's where you can download it from. The latest version as of this video is 9.4 or 0.9.4. I'll have a link to this below if you want to go ahead and download it. So um, you want to download the Windows link right here. Click that and it will download the files. Um, and according to the page, all you have to do is open up a readme file and you should be good to go. Unfortunately, the latest version does not actually have the readme file in it. So what I had to do is go ahead and download, it says read the readme file, but it didn't have it. So I'm going to have to go ahead and download the last version, which is 9.3. If you want, you can just follow along with this video, but if you really want the readme file, just download the old version. All right, so uh, once you have it downloaded, just go ahead and open up the ZA Dig program. All right, to help follow along, I'm going to go ahead and plug this thing in real quick, and then I'm going to go look at the readme file, just so we can go through it step by step. And now I just got the error saying cannot load drivers. If you already have the drivers installed, you want to go ahead and uninstall them first. But if you're just getting started with the MS64M, you shouldn't be have a problem with that. All right, so here's the readme file. Let's go ahead and open it up. And the readme file says the first thing we need to do is uninstall any previous drivers. Um, if you first set it up, you don't have to worry about that. If you never got the drivers to work, you don't have to worry about that. Next thing, connect the EMS cartridge to your computer through USB. Already done. Next thing, let Windows fail to install the drivers. Basically, just wait a few seconds. Don't do anything. Wait a few seconds. And the next thing you need to do is make sure that uh, is load up the program, the ZA Dig. All right, and now you gotta check the USB ID number. It should list itself as let's see, six four sorry four six seven zero nine three nine four. So let's go ahead and look over here, and yep, it matches four six seven zero nine three. 94 so that means we're good it says make sure wcid is not checked there's an x there so we're good all right and it just says go ahead and press install driver so let's do it go ahead and click install driver it says installing driver and it's asking us are we sure we want to install this so just go ahead and click install wait a few seconds all right and it's done all right so now that it is done we should be able to load up the program normally all right now we loaded it up and you can see that it says cart connected. It actually detected the cart. This program actually seems to work way better than the official one or any of the mods I've tried. So let's go ahead and try to load up our flash card. You can see here it says bank one, Pokemon yellow, and bank two has infinity in it. We're going to try to go ahead and load up a program real quick. All right, so there's some important things to notice um, before loading up. It says up top, IO direction read from cart or write to cart so you'll want to make sure you pick the proper one write to cart means whatever you load is written to the cart read from cart means whatever you load is written to your computer all right so we have write to cart and we can't drag and drop apparently so just click here and load up the game all right and now we should just be able to click start and it should write go ahead and write to the game to the cartridge All right, and apparently it doesn't actually support multiple games per page or even multiple save files per page, but it and it will take a few minutes to write, but it's pretty nice for just easy, quick and easy flashing. All right, now that it is done, let's go ahead and test it out. It still says cart connected, so it's still technically cart. Remember, unplug it before you actually go ahead and try to start up the game. Otherwise, you can cause major problems. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, and even I picked the wrong Game Boy to do this. I shouldn't have picked the backlight Game Boy, but as you can see, it actually started up. So yeah, that's a qu new, quick, and easy way to actually flash your EMS 64. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, yep, bye.